Hi, I am Ellen Page, and I'm here with David Frame, who is the director of The Cured, which is releasing this Friday in select theaters and on demand. Uh, take a look at the trailer. There's so much chaos after the outbreak. It was two years before we could begin to re-enter the city. We started to hear a rumor of a cure. How long were you infected? Four years. You're having any violent impulses? No. Your sister-in-law has agreed to take you in. Smile, Killian. Are you one of the cured? Yeah. Will you be sick again? What happened to Luke? Get separated. You're right to lie. They're all the same and they know the truth. We need to look out for each other out here, okay? Sometimes I feel it. Screaming to get out. How could you take one in? They're murderers, a lot of them. They want us all dead. We have to stop them. You're right to be scared. No matter how much we pretend, we're not the same people anymore. Stay away from us. I'm not going to be a part of this. You are the reason they're not safe. They hunt together. They decide who to kill and who to infect. They communicate in a way that we will never understand. We need something that will make them listen. Something they're truly scared of. Well, wow, that was the trailer. Hopefully that uh, got your, got your, got you excited. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to start with a question and I'll just ask you the question. That'd be great. Okay, David, where did the idea for the film come from? Do you have any directors or films in mind as inspiration when you were working on the film? Okay, two pronged. Um, I, the, the film started, the script started in 2011, so a long time ago. Um, and it came from wanting to do a, a genre film, a zombie film, but want, thinking of what you could do that was different. And it was I Am Legend, the book that, which even though it's more vampiric, was all about this guy trying to find this cure. And I thought that's a great starting point for a film. So the idea of doing a zombie film that begins where other films end and explores what it'd be like in a world in which there was a cure and what it'd be like to be haunted with those memories. Um, so that was the starting point. Um, and in terms of directors, it's a wide variety. I love Romero, obviously. Danny Boyle is genius. Um, Al Alfonso Cuaron with um, Children of Men. Um, David Michaud, Animal Kingdom was a big influence. Um, Persona, Bergman was a huge influence. So yeah, wide variety. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Do you want to ask or should I just sort of... You can go first. All right. Ellen, that's <laughs> me. How did you get involved with the film? What made you want to work on the film? How was your preparation for this role different from how you've approached your other roles? Um, well, I got involved with the film because I was so moved and compelled by David's screenplay, and I felt like it was such a fresh take on this genre, which I love, and um, just infused with so many different themes and ideas and so much to, to dive into. And... Um, my preparation, I don't know if it was different than any other role. I mean, you're really collaborative, which I love. So I feel like we talked a lot mm. about Abby and what she'd been through and her own trauma, but does she even have the opportunity to deal with it because she's a mother? And um, so, yeah. 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 And check out his short films because they are so good. And when I watched them, I just was stoked to be a part of your first feature.
And I think a good part of the preparation was Trump was elected the day we started rehearsal, which uh, oh, yes. that's a big inspiration. Yes. <laughs> helped. Yeah, get into a depressing mindset. <laughs> that was awful. That was that yeah. was pretty depressing. It was yeah, pretty grim. That was, was a bad day. Grim, grim. And it was the same day you went off to play football with the boy who's going to be your son. Yes. Which was like, yeah. yeah. Took him to an arcade and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, well, this is from Laureen. Laureen Laurent. Laureen Laurent. Um, the movie seems to pull off a fresh take on the zombie genre. What aspect of the script attracted you most to the project? Um, well, I think what uh, David mentioned earlier, which is that it's the zombie film that um, takes place after the zombie films that you're used to seeing. And um, as well as like uh, what I think is special about this movie, and I think could be for everyone, even people who might not be drawn to a, a zombie movie, is that it, it, it has this um, core that's, you know, deeply emotional and often feels like a family drama and uh, is is a uh, and that felt really special and um and allowed me as an actor to get to just do so much so many different things yeah so uh david were the parallels with modern politics and immigration top of your mind when you were creating the film or did they arise organically um they were they were on top of my mind um when i started writing this Back in the day, it's when we had the big recession in Europe and we had, um, you know, the asylum seeking and immigration crisis and the rise of populist politicians around Europe who were feeding on people's anger. And that all kind of fed into the writing of this. Um, so, the, you know, there's a reason our antagonist is a politician who kind of feeds on the anger around him and manipulates the people around him for his own ends. So, so it was, yeah, it was all pretty, pretty conscious in the writing process. for both of us from Hummer without the H um, what's your favourite zombie movie so do you want to do that one first what's yours um, 28 Days Later yeah yeah what's it's yours good. Uh, the original Dawn of the Dead yeah. which is pretty amazing uh, and then for me the zombie genre really focuses on what happens after the action and even less about those infected what inspired you to focus on the cured and the cured um, well it's called the cured so it has to be about cured um it, it, it was the idea of these people who are haunted with the memories of what they they've done and and kind of how they reintegrate and how somebody like ellen's character takes them back in and and you know i think a lot of the the frights and horror in this film doesn't come from the infected it comes from from people regular people and what they're capable of when they're scared so so it was very much so kind of dealing with the aftermath and, and trying to make that work yeah, yeah totally <laughs> So for the both of us, um, is it difficult to maintain a positive mindset through the production when the project when the when the project is so dark? Um, no, I think I think I think we had a really great cast and crew, and everyone had a really positive attitude. I think it's, I think you need to approach dark material with a smile sometimes. Yeah, no, I feel like we had a really good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably says bad things about us. Yeah, maybe. Um, and Ireland's so nice, so for me it was like so special because I got to be in Dublin, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to it, but it's a really yeah. nice place. The people are good. The crews are are great. The crew and, was great. Yeah, um, and how do you keep yourself sane? Um, you don't. Um, yeah. um, again, great cast, great crew. I think if you're not enjoying the process, there's no point doing it. And I think yeah. you know, we we had a lot of talent and a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, and, and what, what message do you hope people will take away from the film? Um, um, that I, I think there's no real message, but if there is one, it's that you shouldn't let fear rule your lives and rule your politics. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. Love that. This is under the writer-director. <laughs> um, this is from Brittany. It seems like you're really good with kids. How did you like playing a mother? Uh, I'm awful with kids. Um, no, I, <laughs> I think, well, I think Tallulah was a big turning point yeah. for me because I never really spent much time around the baby quite yeah, quickly. Yeah. And then I like loved this baby and had like such a connect and that was super sweet. And, um, I think m my trick was on this was I, I decided to just like take him to 
like an arcade and we went bowling and played lots of video games and then we both you know played soccer so we played soccer together and just connected on that level before and you know tried to get him to think i was cool did my best um and then we just had a cute little relationship where yeah. i feel like he just made fun of me all the time it was he, he was obsessed with you like, but <laughs> like i mean i think you guys created a really good bond i think yeah. it was really nice i think that really helped so yeah, yeah. so it was fun playing with him yeah you did well yeah <laughs> from really robin 63 um what was your favorite day of filming and why oh god um I don't know. Um, probably the first day, just because it was the first day on my first feature, and that felt quite, quite big. Yeah, that so, was exciting. Yeah, so I was there. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. What so, did we shoot first? I it was, it was, it was like literally, it was the. Oh, so, was it the rat one? We did do the rat one. Yeah, but it's in the movie. Yeah. And um, it was one of the. I think it's when you opened the door to <laughs> Sam for the first time. Oh, so yeah, it was yeah. like it was. It was some nice, we kind of, the first week was all the happy family stuff. And yeah. we're like, this is just a drama. And then the last few weeks were like action packed. So, yeah, totally. So, um, yeah, I think the first day was just a, a big moment for me. What was my favorite day of filming? I don't know. I had a lot of, I loved working with David. And I loved working with Sam Kiwi, um, who plays Senan, um, the my brother-in-law who I take in. Um and so maybe some of those days where we got to do like really intense scenes because i just enjoyed acting with sam so much he's so good um so that was that was really satisfying working with you and sam yeah yeah and you had fun on the action days which you oh, were just so the good action days. <laughs> but they just feel hard to talk about because i know yeah, yeah like a spoiler yeah, yeah but the action days like that huge sequence you did yeah um was so fun yeah, they were really good fun. Yeah, they were like, and what he pulled off in the amount of time and the budget, crazy, crazy, crazy good. Crazy good. Yeah, crazy good. <laughs> so, Ellen. Uh, Would you ever consider writing or directing your own projects? Well, I'd have to become a much better writer. Um, and yes, I think about directing, not, there's nothing like immediately planned or anything for me to even direct. And I say that humbly because I witness directors do it and it's not easy. Um, so, but yeah, I think about it. Maybe you should, I think you'd be very good. Sometimes I'm like, oh God, I couldn't handle that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, David and Ellen, the family unit in the film is central. Um, how do you keep the storytelling so personal when you're telling a story with such a grand scope? Um, mm -hmm. I think that's the trick. I think when you're telling a film that is on a scale, you have to keep it focused on the actors. Um, and I, and so you let the action, you let the scale unfold in the background, but it's always about the characters. It's about Abby, Ellen's character and Sam and what they're going through and seeing it through their eyes. So I think it's just, it should always feel um, rooted in the characters first. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think you can like relate to the, or I think a lot of the time why we like zombie movies or post-apocalyptic movies is like, we as individuals wonder what would our moral and ethical mm. compromises be and like focusing on these more intimate family or friend dynamics I, I think can really like allow us to enter the story yeah. and then all the grand scope stuff and the fear and the suspense and to me mm. just ends up working so much more yeah yeah that's wow. all that's all for today <laughs> wow perfect well thanks for joining us Yes. And uh and the cure yeah, the <laughs> yeah. cure doesn't select the But I feel like I could probably just could probably just say it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> a really cool movie and David's awesome and it comes out in select theaters on Friday and on demand as well. Um that's February the 23rd the, this Friday coming. And uh please go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It's real rad. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>